How's it going, everybody? So the Heisman Trophy, of course, is the big, 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 big deal because Heisman is spelled he is man. Who is man? Satan is man. He possesses the body, we believe, on the third day after the right eye wound event. <clears throat> Will not appear to the earth as, as seemingly have risen from the dead because it's a body double switch uh, that takes the hit versus who returns from the Daily Moon, you have to watch the movie The Prestige to see how Christian Bale is cloned or body doubled, however you want to say it, twin, body double, however you want to do it, however you want to say it, does not matter to me. But they did show cloning by Tesla, who trunks um, allegedly trunk had an uncle that was tight with Tesla. You see how they just rip everybody's brain cells apart with all this stuff. But Jaden Daniels, now the first Heisman winner was named Jay. Our last Heisman winner was named Jaden. Jay Berwanger in 1935, the first Heisman Trophy winner. And we just had Jay Den Daniels. So a J and a J. <clears throat> Fantastic. But Jaden Daniels, that's like Stormy Daniels. It's the book of Daniel, which is your end times book. And there's two things about this Heisman. Now, there was one Heisman Trophy winner that won it twice or two years in a row. And his number was 45. Archie Griffin. Well, when he is man, it is one forty-five days from the Heisman Trophy presentation. Could not find a date of the first ever Heisman Trophy presentation. Let me just Google it. Date of first ever Heisman Trophy presentation. They didn't have a Heisman Trophy presentation. They, I think they just gave it to them and then just announced it. But it says, first award initially named, the DAC Trophy is presented on December 9th, which is the same day they did it. So Jay, December 9th, Jay Den, December 9th, it was 1935. Let's go. So 1935, also... December 9th as a coinka dink. Um, so let's go ahead and run that. So you're in the 322 category. You're in the 88 years category. That's kind of perfect. Now, 33278 on the full moon, on the snow full moon. But let's go to May 2nd. See what it says. Okay. If you include both dates, it's 322-88. I think our date is going to be um, April 30th. I really do. Hey, it's 4.04 a.m., y'all. The amount of verses in the book of Revelation. Ooh, did y'all see that? It said 4.04.23. So... Is it 421? He rises on 423? I don't know. Everybody's guess is as good as mine. That's why I show this to y'all to see what y'all think. If if it was just about what I think, I'd just do this by myself. I don't monetize my channel. I don't make any money. So, if we run that Heisman with Jaden Daniels, it is 145. And Archie Griffith was number 45 and won it twice. Now, if we want to run it to April 23rd on the pink full moon, it's 136. Now, 36 is like a triangular number for 666, where you, if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 
plus 34, plus 35, plus 36, all the way through it, e it equals 666. And 36 is Adam in Jewish gematria. So 136 days from the Heisman Trophy presentation, it's perfect. Because we know he is the black Adam. Uh, if he goes down on the pink full moon and rises on April 25th, it's that 138 days, which is Donald Trump and simple gematria. So there's there's lots to look at. Just tons, tons to look at. Um, this this whole time frame of April, it's all a palindrome. The way you write the date from 420 all the way through 429. That could be a lead in to our 430. Then the May pole is the birthing process taking place. That is your goat moon to Aquarius rising moon. I pet goat begins with a goat. That's my strongest date in the spring. Um, two days before the full moons in July and August are huge. But then, of course, if it goes down any time between now and June-ish, then that October 2nd ring of fire eclipse, I think, would be the... Abomination of Desolation, Apocalypto, all the blood and killing ended at that eclipse. And of course, when the Antichrist declares himself to be God, he is uh, declaring peace and safety, peace and safety on the earth. And then sudden destruction shall come to the sheep. So you can see how they butchered that your whole life. They talk about it's a peace treaty, and then World War III will start. World, sudden destruction will come. No, that's not what that Bible verse is relating to. The peace and safety, peace and safety, is what the Antichrist is saying. Who can make war with a beast? He's putting it into World War III, saving the earth. Superman. All right, anyway, love y'all.